back here on the John Deere 318. Got it all put back together. And now I'm going to try to figure out why the charging light is on. And uh, if this, if it's just because the battery is so dead. Um, sometimes you get a false reading. Um, if this was taking no charge at all. And the, best, the booster pack that I was using has reverse polarity production so it won't charge backwards and uh, maybe it just doesn't see the battery so I've got it hooked up to a vehicle battery on the other end that's known to be good and let's see what happens when we start it now with a good battery attached in the system and if we still have a charging problem The battery light's still on. Let's see what we have at idle. 12.5859. A little bit less. So what that tells us is it's using a little more, it's not charging, first of all, and it's using more energy at high speed because it's got to make the spark for the tractor and everything else on the coil. So um, the battery is not charging even if we got a good battery in the mix. So it's something with, um, the key switch is new so it shouldn't be that, and something with the charging system or the charging regulator so we just got to go one step at a time and figure it out. Okay, so as I said earlier, I'm going to rule out the key switch because that has already been replaced. I've already replaced what is probably the fuse for pretty much everything there with the 30 amp. I don't know if that's the right amp, but that's what was in there. And um, this is the charging regulator. This takes the power from the magneto, flywheel, whatever you want to call it and converts it. Now it's got two wires that come in the black from down there. One, two, and it's got a white one that goes out to the plug which I assume goes to our charging system uh, to charge the system I should say. Um, and let me show you some interesting readings I'm getting. So as far as I know that puts out AC voltage whereas the unit needs DC voltage so um, what I want to see is an increase in AC voltage on I don't know maybe both of those one of those um, as I rev it up to see if those are still working and then if they are it's probably just the uh, voltage regulator so let me get it started up point three 34.8 on that one now if I rev them up and they change then that tells me that that system is probably working I don't know which ones it's really supposed to be, but the one had a lot more and the one had just a hair less, probably because I was revving it up and drawing power um, for firing the plugs. So I'm going to call it this thing is dead because um, the output never changed. I didn't show you that part, but the output never changes on the wire that it feeds backwards to 
the uh, to for the tractor to use. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just say it's that and uh, change that. Back out here on the 318 project, I have received my new voltage regulator, which this one being a Chinese replica of a real voltage regulator does not even have the terminals labeled on which ones are which and they are not exactly the same as the other ones so I'm gonna have to figure that out alright so it looks like all that holds it in is one bolt here and then it'll come out the top Now the original one that it came with, it's an original Onan, it says right there. Um, but here's what's interesting. It's got two wires there that come from the motor and the one, the single one is on the top. I've got three in a row, so I'm gonna try to see online if they do have any kind of wiring diagram. The box came with absolutely nothing. Okay, with it facing upwards. C's on the left. B plus is on the center and AC is on the right. Look that up online and now I'm just going to have to double check which is the C and AC. Uh, I did have AC when I was testing so I'm going to have to run it, test that, but for now I'll just do the one that I know, B plus, which is the, in my case the white wire. Uh, I already know that one. And then I'll just have to figure out the left and the right on those other ones. I've got one end just hooked to the battery, and I'm going to see which one of these is the AC power. Seven point five volts there. Oh, now I don't know what I got.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I got a little bit of a predicament. When I first uh, tested that, I thought I only had AC power on one side. But of course, being that it's AC, you would have had to have two lines between the two. You're not testing the ground, you're testing between each other. So my guess is those don't matter because it's alternating. It's going to give and take through the 12 volt range. So I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to hook them up and see what the heck happens. And by the way, this has been very hot at one point. Um, hot enough to melt the uh, thermoplastic there. And not really tight enough to get me a good grip on that one. Let's see about this one. That one's not bad, but this one I'm going to have to pinch that down a little bit. The problem is it's all um, plastic, so it's going to be difficult. I might just uh, take this, bend a little U-shape in it, and that'll usually get you enough um, good connection. Actually, I decided just to snip that burnt stuff back. And yeah, that's probably why it was so hot, because it was getting a very poor connection before. Ooh, that engine's already pretty hot. Have to wait till that cools down a minute. All right, got the plug on. Now we'll try for a start, and for the very first time since I've got this tractor, we might actually have battery charging. battery I got in there is completely pooched so I got this uh, booster pack on it now and the booster pack won't take the charge um, because it has diodes in it I think it won't take the charge but just to show you that it's charging start it up see watch it go if it goes up then we're charging <laughs> So I'm going to call that a win. I just got to get a battery that holds some charge now. Okay, got the side cover back on after fixing the charging system.